showing you a town tour of my Animal Crossing town, Lavender. I've been playing Animal Crossing since I was super young and it is absolutely one of my all-time favorite game series is my first game was wild world then i did city fall then i did new leaf which is it's the best one it just is and then of course i had to play new horizons and then obviously i had to play it on release day the 20th of march 2020 the fateful day but yeah it's always been a big part of my childhood and like life so you can probably imagine i take decorating my towns pretty seriously um quite proud of them they're cool <laughs> Since I started my town lavender, I have never reset my town. I don't know if that's like a big accomplishment, but I just, I, I can never ever bear to reset any of my towns because like memories, good times, good villagers. I just like seeing the general progression of my islands so I can go back and look at like old photos and be like, damn, that's ugly. <laughs> But over the course of the four years that I've been playing this game, I've put 1,600 hours into my one town. And I really wanted to make this video to just kind of show it off because I'm super proud of it. I've worked really hard on it. And I've always wanted to make videos on Animal Crossing. For a little bit of backstory, my town's name is Lavender, and that is ripped straight from the Pokemon town, Lavender Town, because that has one of the best town tunes in it. Also, the flowers really pretty, I like flowers. But yeah, my new leaf town also had the same name, Lavender. It's kind of my little thing. I've been doing it for the last decade or so. Um, and the idea of my town is kind of like inspired by like Ghibli movies, like fairy forests just like the whole enchanted feeling one of my top inspos though was the secret world of Arietti and then also totoro just because in those movies like in certain scenes in totoro you just feel like the characters are really small you know like at the bus stop with cat bus anytime they're standing next to totoro in the forest and then the secret world of Arietti is like the tiny thing that is the movie <laughs> Um, and another inspiration for my town was my own genius mind. Basically, anytime I walk around my town, I just want to feel like really tiny and like lost and just kind of like something magical is about to happen. Some of my favorite areas in my town include the flowery rock garden, the post office, Lolly's house, and the sunken waterfall. Very proud of all of them. Sunken waterfall, I put a lot of effort into. That was one of the first things I redid when I started to redo my town from scratch. Also, I have had like multiple town layouts and then I just destroyed them like piece by piece because I'm a little bit insane. In my town, I've got myself. <laughs> My boyfriend Matt, Lolly, Eric, Maple, Teddy, Blanche, Marshall, Kiki, Deirdre, Butch, and Ruby. And obviously, of course, I have lore for every single one of them. 
And yes, I'm about to take you through all of it. Alice is the resident rep, and she does her best to take care of the town with Isabel. Matt runs the hotel and the outdoor cafe. Lolly is an aspiring writer, and she also works at the post office. <laughs> Eric is in charge of the natural environment and attends the school's classes when he remembers. Maple runs the campsite and actually does attend the school, unlike Eric. <laughs> Teddy is Maple's older brother, and he patrols the island for danger. His best friend is Marshall. Blanche runs the bathhouse on the rocks and invites everyone over for tea parties. Deirdre runs a pottery class and also runs the post office. Marshall volunteers at the museum and helps Brewster keep the cafe tidy. Kiki is a waitress at the hotel's outdoor cafe. Butch is the teacher at the school. And Ruby helps out at Able Sisters, making potions in her spare time and also attending the school. I've also decorated all of my characters and my villagers' interiors. And I was gonna try and fit that in this video, but honestly, I'm quite proud of them. So I feel like they deserve their own little moment in another video. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed me giving you a little tour of my island. I really wanted to show this off for like about a year. I was gonna make this video last year, but I was like, you know what? I'll wait a year. I'll save up the money. I'll buy a capture card. The video will be so cool. And then I just, I just didn't buy a capture card because they're so expensive. I am definitely planning on making more Animal Crossing content, I guess. But yeah, I kind of can't believe it took me this long to like show off my town because I'm super proud of it. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have loved my town. I have loved showing it off. My Animal Crossing town is my pride and joy. And yeah. Happy for your anniversary to the game. Great game. New Leaf was better, but we all knew that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>